All right. One of the most common questions that we receive is the, why people use undeposited funds and why not. So undeposited funds, you can think of this this way. We have, you know, you receive several checks in the mail, okay? And you might not go to the bank every day, but the payments have been made. You've received payment. So what you do is you make sure and post, this payment's been received, this check A from customer, and then check B from customer, and check C from a customer has been received. And before they go into the bank, they're sitting in our in our desk, let's just say, and that's our undeposited funds account. So the, the customer has paid, but it hasn't necessarily made it to the bank yet. Okay. So let's just quickly how to think of undeposited funds. Now, why would you want to use it? Mainly the reason is because if you do have customer A and customer B and customer C's check, when you go to the bank, you're going to be depositing them as one lump sum deposit, right? You're not going to deposit each check individually. Then if you do each check individually, you're going to run out of deposit slips very quickly, right? So I'll show you first what to do with undeposited funds, um, having the default set that you're going to use undeposited funds. So you go up here to customers and receive payments. And we're going to go ahead and close this toolbar over on the side. And we're going to say received from, let's see which customers have a balance real quick. So let's say Adam's Candy. All right, and we have the $40, all these pop-ups for me, $40 that they're going to receive, and the payment method was a check, and it was today, and it was check one, two, three, four. Save and new. All right, and now we're going to go to, let's say, Mike Balak. So Balak, and we received $180. And it's check number 2245. Save and close. Okay, so now when I go look at my chart of accounts, all right, I have in undeposited funds down here $330. That's there must be other things sitting in undeposited funds between besides just that 40, the 130. But I, I have some money in here. Now, why do I want to hold it here? Because if I'm looking at my cash account, I want to make sure. That check shouldn't be recorded in cash yet because I haven't gone to the bank yet, right? So how do I get it to move up there? I fill out my deposit slip or I print out my deposit slip by going to uh, banking, make deposits. I check off the ones I'm going to be making a deposit for. So let's just say these guys right here. These are the ones I was recording. Okay. And it's going to be on 12 threes when I finally make it to the bank and I say save and close, okay? So now when I look at my bank on 12.3, I actually have just one deposit for $220, all right? It doesn't show as $40 and $180 because that wouldn't help very much when I'm reconciling my bank account, right? It would be so hard to tie out. My bank account says 220 and I have in here 180 and 40. Um, showing in my checking account here. So that'd be kind of difficult to tie out, especially if you had like 10 payments in one deposit. Okay. But you can make it so that it doesn't default go to undeposited funds. So let's say you do only make one, every, every deposit you make is just one check. It's a preference that you set. So you go up to edit and preferences under payments here and company preferences it has here, use undeposited funds as default deposit to account. So I'm going to uncheck that for a second. Okay. So now when I am doing a couple things, so first when I receive payments, notice here, I can now choose where I want to deposit it to. So it can go to undeposited funds still, or I can put it straight to my checking account. Okay. So I can choose uh, Edwards and put in here the amount 1125 and the check is 1256 and I'm going to stick it straight to the checking account, save and close. The other place where you'll see that is on your sales receipts. Okay, there's another video where we talk about uh, entering sales receipts to a clearing account for like web stores. 
So um, maybe I don't want it to be deposited straight to the checking account. Maybe I want it to go to a clearing account. Maybe I want it to go to a savings account, something like that, or a MasterCard Visa clearing account. So um, now I have the choice, okay? So again, if I go up to Edit and Preferences under Payments, Company Preferences, and check off that Use Undeposited Funds, and I go now to my Sales Receipts, I don't have that box to make that choice anymore. It's just automatically going to go to undeposited funds. All right? So that's just a little tip on undeposited funds.